said, hey, congratulations. Green carpet closing night here at Dances with Films. How does it feel tonight? Um, I am deeply grateful for this experience. I am a first-time creator. Um, I had a team of 70 people that we brought together, a lot of moms, making a show for moms. Um, and so many people have come out to support us, and I'm feeling very moved. So tell us what sparked you to uh, write this. Uh, is it a series? Yeah. Um, so it's inspired by my real-life family and my own journey with anger. Um, in 2017, the world was a bit of a trash fire. There was a lot of things going on externally, but I was also about to turn 40, and there was a lot of things going on in me personally, professionally. My mother-in-law moved in with us right around that time. And so the, uh, there was this spark of anger that was happening a lot. But because of what was happening in the world, I was like... It kind of seems sane to feel angry, but um, I had always been taught that anger is unhealthy, destructive, and ugly, and so I just would push it down and mm -hmm. smile and please and take care of everyone else until I got to a pretty ragey place. And so I asked, what does healthy anger look like, and how do we transform it into a source of power? So you channel all that energy into creative energy for yourself. Yeah, we've turned it into a story. Our director, Clarissa De Los Reyes, is an amazing director. We're both moms and multiracial families. Um, we actually did, she was a student at NYU grad filmmaking like 15 years ago. We met doing her film and 15 years later I, I was like, I have this script, what do you think about it? And the themes were so um, connected to her own experiences as a mother, as a woman, as an artist and mother and, and what some of those struggles were. So she dove right in and we had a blast making it. So overall, what was your first experience with all of this, I mean, it sounds like it's a very unique experience. I mean, the, the beginning genesis of the idea was actually stand-up comedy. So I would go on stage and do rage comedy, and audiences loved it, including people that aren't necessarily the demographic that I might intend to be writing, because we all feel anger. And I think we should be having more conversations about what does positive anger look like? How do we harness it and channel it into positive power um, for positive systemic change. My character's a hot mess. She doesn't have all the answers, but she makes us ask them by watching her go on her journey. Before I let you go, I feel like there's a personal lesson we have learned here. Oh, um, uh, I need to say no. I need to, may I curse? Yeah, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> I need to tell more people to fuck off. Uh, and, and embrace my anger because it is a powerful source that's letting me know something is not quite right. And I just have to learn to listen to it and use my voice. So this, for all the mamas out there, for all the theater nerds, for everyone impacted by Me Too, for anyone who's ever struggled with their rage, uh, check us out, hotangrymom.com. Follow us at Hot Angry Mom, uh, and let's keep the conversation going. Hey, thank you for keeping the conversation with us. Congratulations, and have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you.